Hey guys, what's up? This is Kyosei Spag here with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to live stream on Twitch.tv using the program XSplit. Alright, let's find XSplit on the internet. Oh. I don't get $19. Oh, I suck at typing. Alright, it's right here, XSplit.com, as you can see. You have to register before you download it, and when you register, it will uh, bring you to a download link, or it'll say download. So when you're done with that, download it, of course. Log in when you open the program. I'm going to open the program right now. I have it automatically logging in. Alright, now that I have the program open, it is on my second monitor, so I'll bring it over. Alright, here it is. It'll probably start off like this. Well, actually, it won't say that. It'll say, like, press file or whatever. Okay, so, go to broadcast. Edit channels. Add. Justin.tv. Put in all of your information. Click OK. If you click broadcast, it should show up right there, but you don't want to broadcast yet because you don't have anything. Alright, in this video I'm going to be using the HD PVR as what I'm going to be recording. So I shall set this up right here. Click that. And then, it shows me right now. Dot! It's not going to work. But, because I have my Turtle Beaches plugged in, it's not going to work. So, Click screen region, and if this was, let's say this was the HTPBR window. How I do it, is I click full screen when I'm done. Like, when I'm not going to be using my computer and I'm going to be live streaming, I click. I do the full screen, click the PBR program on full screen, and just do a whole monitor. But, for you guys, you most likely don't have two monitors, so I'm just going to do this. Pretend this is the window. You have to drag this to full screen. This is pretty small. Do you want? I'll just do the whole screen. So, add screen region. Do the whole screen. And this is the window. This whole black part is the window of what's going to be showing on your Twitch.tv. So, if you want your whole desktop showing, go like, go like that. If you want to add a camera, click add camera. You can add a title. I'm just going to put Sam live stream uh, tutorial. I'm just going to click a random font. This, I guess, that's pretty cool. I've never even used it before. Style, I'm just going to line it to the center. Actually, the left is better. Um, color red okay I'm gonna actually do it like this drag this up make this smaller Move it right here I just got a text so I will pause the video and be right back all right I'm back I have this lined up and everything and if this is all that I want to do you can click add um, I think you can add camera. Sometimes it's, it allows you to click add camera and then you can add like the total media extreme window, but it doesn't do that for me for some reason. I'm going to name the scene tutorial. Alright, you can announce it on justin.tv. Sign in. But, I'm not going to do that, I'm just too lazy. So, when you want to, if you want to name your live stream, you have to go to twitch.tv. Click on your thing, dashboard. And I'm going to name this, I don't even know why this is showing up, if you can see that on the screen, it's like randomly there. But it's there for some reason. I'm just going to title this, Tutorial Live Stream. Alright, and that's how you name it, click your game, playing, and then that, 
I have 60 views, cool. And then you click update, but I'm not going to do that, and I don't have anything showing. So, when you want to live stream, click broadcast, then click the thing. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this. And you have to wait for it to go. It should work right here. See, it's zero viewers. I'm just gonna go like this to go to channel to show a bigger view. This should say live, but it's not. Sometimes this doesn't work for me. Most of the time it does. I'm just gonna stop the live stream and then redo it. Streaming. There you go. This is really, really bad quality because I have it set to that. So, of course, mute yourself. It's a lot easier. And if you want to change quality settings and all that, you have to end the live stream first. You go to view resolution. I have mine since it's 360p, but I'm actually going to switch it to 480. Um, you can change the frame rate. I have my 25. You can also scale viewpoint. You can make it really small, like that. But it doesn't come come up small on the live stream. That would be weird if it did. Um, transition doesn't really matter. Transition speed you can't even change. All right, file. I'm just gonna go to settings and see if I missed anything. Oh, not these settings. General settings. Alright, you can upload a picture, upload all your crap, oh um, disable arrow theme, so that it like, makes your computer faster, um, channels, resolutions, hotkeys, I've never used hotkeys, but I'll be alright, alright, um, cool, so that's about it, I will see you guys later, if this helped, sub, anything, do anything that would help like the video, comment if you have any problems. I had a video like this uploaded before, but the audio cut off right in the middle. So, that was it. See you guys later. Peace.